Revelio. Apology, dare I say. Blossom. Rebellion. By all accounts, Hogwarts would be lost without you.
just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the Centaurs. And I wanted to thank you when the poachers ambushed us. I... It was nice not to face them alone. You can always count on me for a fight when it comes to poachers. That makes two of us. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of, uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your Gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers, but she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Highwing can join us? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn, known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh. 
I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. This place has seen better days. An astronomy table should prove useful once the sun. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Hazel must be here somewhere. Do cooperate, won't you?
know you don't. I'm only trying to help. What do you have in store for me this time? Difficult. I mean you no harm. She's safe. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. than Hogsmeade. Yeah. <laughs> 
Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You've a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now. <laughs> Dear, this Hamlet is simply crawling with life. Oh, I can't go back there. Is there something I can help you with, Mr... Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I had known he wanted to procure venom from a living Acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the Acromantula. I did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> In fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch, so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... I fled. Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, Acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is... as Paul Milo has proven. Impossible to get from a live Acromantula. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. Now, where could that Acromantula cave be? The cave must be somewhere in this maze.
I wonder what else is in here. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. Send you. Bombarda. Incendio. Crisis. Send This could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. Incendium. So this is the infamous Abscond.
So this is the infamous Absconder. for Milo's daughter. Rebellion. Selling back to Mr. Adley. Rebellion. 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 These rocks have seen better days. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Ah, you look none the worse for wear. I take it you decided against entering the Absconder's Cave, then? Mr. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket watch from Milo's body. <laughs> Merlin's beard! How did you? Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about that Acromantula ever again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad Milo's daughter will have something to remember him by. I am too. As far-fetched as his schemes were, Milo was a good friend, and I shall miss him. Please, uh, accept this reward for your trouble. What do you have for sale? Milo can rest in peace now that his wishes have been fulfilled and his daughter has something to remember him by. Oh, 
that'll suit you. Yeah, I'd think about getting that. Ah, never mind replenishing my stocks. Pleasure doing business with you. You can't imagine. Be strong, Alexandra. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. He just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try, I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. Troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. I wonder if one could. I take it you're Alexander's friend. Please. 
Bombarda. Incendio. Glacius. Defender. Kundringo. Kundringo. Descender. Protege. Bombarda. Incendio. Rest easy, man. I feel awful for Alexandra. The hand that needed to be saved from that troll. Revelio. Yeah. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. There wasn't much he could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Vanquisher? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own, but truly, thank you for what you did. The Troll Vanquisher. <laughs> suppose I did earn the title. Rebellion. Seems there are fewer Ashwinders every day. <laughs> ah, nothing. Rebellion. He's likely studied here. Rebellion.
Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. This looks intriguing. Rebellion. 